Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask on the internet, even ones marketing specifically to small girls. I, that seems weird. Seems weird. Seems like it could work for everyone, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's test it anyway. Well, I think my, my son might like these masks. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that. But this one's just for girls. That's it. <laughs> All right, let's get in the clamp and see what happens. This is a pack of 10, which is very convenient. Very interesting, by the way, on the, uh, on the listing, it says uh, print and packaging may vary. Anytime you see that, you should, you should worry because like what is going on with that manufacturer? You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm using a different clamp here just because uh, look at how tiny this is. This is actually the smallest kid's mask that I have think put in the clamper today, which could be good. This could be for like a really small kid that could be ideal. Let's let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the ASTM surgical mask test here just for the you good people at home. So you know if this thing's going to protect you or not. Let's, let's look at this back. I like the packaging. I do. I like that nice little packaging. I like that you can see the window in there so you can see what the pattern is. What is that? Pink blobs? Pink blobbies? What's this supposed to be? This is like a TV show I'm not aware of? Weird fabric, let's try this on. Let's do one of these. I don't have many to test. Ooh, wow, that's really good. I give it a good yank. Let's try it on. Just like me, I'm a good yank. Yankee, don't be weird, Yankee. Like the British, yank, yeah, good yank. See, this is like the smallest, this is really small. This would work for like probably four or five year old. Smell is really good. Like it's, I mean, it's barely there. It's like a barely plasticky smell. Chinese polypropylene has like a very specific smell to it. Um, I'm wondering if like I'm a kid, I'm gonna like, I'm, the fact that it's not breaking and it's on my face is pretty good. Yeah, that's not gonna break. That's not gonna break. That's really good. Great nose wire, interesting design, but you know, not terrible. Um, look and see if there's any, uh, it's a six to 12 year olds. I don't know if it would really fit with, uh, 12 year old. I mean, it barely fits my face. And the efficiency is 90.402. Now, that does fail any American standards, uh, but they're not making any claims to that effect. They're not saying that it's an ASTM level one mask. Personally, I like an ASTM level two or three mask, which is going to be 98% or better. I don't think we've seen any children's masks that have met that today, uh, which is crazy. Um, but, um, you know, we're talking about a few percentage points. So your, you know, your mileage may marry, and maybe you really like this pattern. Maybe it speaks to you. It's like a Rorschach test, like a pink Rorschach test. Maybe you're into that, you know? So it's worth something. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next test, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m. If you're watching this in 2021. If you're watching it in the future, well, how, do we have jetpacks yet? Like, what's going on with that? Come on. Come on, Musk, get on it.